back in the centre of London and it's a country that proved that we can put on a great show. We do have great crowds and nice for that high level of sport to come back to, to the big city of London. This is for the home victory. They have done it in perfect style. It gives a special feeling when you have all of your support team, your family, owners and friends there and to win at home is always the best place to win. I think it's such a unique venue in, in the heart of London. Scott Brash getting into the Grand Prix as the last of the qualifiers in 35th place. A jump off would see this horse tested really for the first time at this level. You wouldn't bother counting the strides, they've got to go oh, flat out. Go, 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 go. 38, 88, <laughs> oh, boy. My rivalry with Scott uh, in London, had it's got a little bit of history there. Last year, he was ahead of me and I had to chase and uh, it forced me to make a mistake. I think it's exciting for the crowd to see even more reason to come and watch. Each year, it's been top sport, fast jump off the last two years. So yeah, I think we'd be expecting much the same this year. Ben Mayer relishing the opportunity to go last in the jump off. 38-82 was faster than Scott Brash, but with a fence lowered, would see Ben in fourth place in the end. Scott Brash against adversity taking the uh, London stage of the Longy Global Champions Tour. It is about a hello, Mr. President, as the British winner.